In this video, I'm gonna walk you through, step-by-step, step, how you can create this Texas design. Don't be scared, it's very simple, so stick with me here. Have your Texas shape, and you have your plate. So we're going to mix up a lighter blue to put on the background first. Grab your blue, put some on your plate. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna take a, another brush, grab some white and put that right next to it. Try to get all of this off on the plate. Then I'm gonna set this aside over here. Then I am going to mix this color until it gets to the lighter blue that I want. You may want a slightly different color, but I like this light blue. So I'm not gonna mix all of my blue in there because I'm happy with this color. So now that I have that lighter blue, push these aside for just a second so I can grab my Texas. I'm gonna paint all of the background. I like to add a little bit of water to my paint just to get it to move all over the ornament because it's a rough surface. So sometimes you're not gonna have the fluidity, big word there. Okay, keep working around here. And if you want to, you can go ahead and go around the edge and fill this in. Now we are going to add the stems. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of green paint here, just a tiny bit, and I'm gonna put a little bit of water in this, too much. Let's add one here. I'm gonna add one right here. Let's go on this side and right here. Now I've got the base of my blue bonnet. I'm also gonna come back and add some leaves to those. I'm just gonna do a little simple leaf swoosh beside it. Right now they almost look like little cactus, cacti, but promise you we're going to get to the blue bonnet part. You should still have your blues. If not, you can go ahead and mix up a little bit more. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black to my original blue. So that makes it a little bit more of a navy. You can see here I got a little dark for my taste. So let's see if we can grab a little bit more blue back. Mix that together so that it gets the blue that you would like. Now, using the end of my paintbrush, I'm gonna scoop up some of this paint and I'm gonna to start to make dots. So this is the very bottom layer of the blue bonnet. I like to, when I see blue bonnets, they look kind of gradient in color to me. I'm gonna add just a small layer of these darker blue dots. Oops, paint got a little sticky there. It's okay. 
kind of push that down. All right. First layer, good there. I'm gonna rinse off my brush and my water. Kind of wipe that off on my paper towel. Now I'm gonna come in with my second layer and I'm gonna just dip straight into this blue. And I'm gonna make more dots all the way around. Blue bonnets kind of come up in a kind of cone shape. So I'm gonna kind of keep, we keep working with them until they get to the place that you're happy with. I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna leave those there. Then I'm gonna see if I've got some more of this lighter blue, which I do. So I'm gonna make this top and these kind of blend in, but we are gonna put some white paint over it. So don't worry, but you want these to come up to a point. So maybe the very top is just one dot. All right, you can let that dry for a second and then dip into your white paint to make the very, very top of the blue bonnet. So you can go over that lighter blue color that you just did. I got a lot of paint, so I'm gonna kind of share. May wanna add some down there. Careful when you're mixing back in your white. If you've got paint on there, you can just kind of add some little white flecks to your blue bonnets. There they are. Rinse that off, wipe my brush down. Now I'm going to add a little heart here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of red paint, put that on my plate, and make a tiny little heart right in the center. You may choose to put a heart up here, up here. You could space your blue bonnets around differently. But I like to Paint my hard right side up and then come upside down to make the V. So let this dry and do one more coat of the red paint over that. Now I am going to add some tiny dots to the red heart. So I'm going to dip right into my white paint again. And you can see that's kind of a lot. So I'm going to dot some onto my plate there. I'm just going to do some tiny there's my Texas. Thanks for stopping by. To purchase your DIY state ornament kit, go to the link below. Make sure to tag us at Brushstrokes Pottery and at Uncoming Goods on social media. We'd love to see your creativity shine. Happy painting!